Pink Delicious story time. We were at a book fair, waiting in line. I was going to meet my hero, Princess Plum. I have all of her books. Princess Plum is kind. She is smart. She grants magic wishes and wears a sparkly purple tiara. I love her stories. I hope she signs my book. I told Mommy. I couldn't believe I was going to meet a real princess at last. But when we got to the front of the line, I was very surprised. Instead of a princess, I saw a man. Is Princess Plum a man? I said. I'm Sid Silver. The man laughed. I'm the author of Princess Plum. That means I write books about her. But how can you write about being a magic princess if you aren't one? I asked. When you're an author, you can tell all sorts of stories, said Mr. Silver. Princess Plum is a character I made up. Stories can be about anyone or anything you want. Just use your imagination. That afternoon, I couldn't stop thinking about what Mr. Silver had said. I decided to give it a try. I imagined I could fly and wrote about soaring around Pinkville. In my story, I made the clouds into cotton candy. After that, I wrote about a tea party with dancing spoons and cups. I wrote about a garden growing under my bed. I wrote about a family of pirates that lives inside the washing machine. I couldn't stop writing. At dinner time, I wrote about a broccoli jungle and sweet potato mountains. At bedtime, I wrote about a pair of bunny slippers hopping all over the house. At school on Monday, I came up with more ideas. I wrote them all down. I was too busy to listen to my teacher, Miss Penny. I was writing about a pink panda when Miss Penny tapped my shoulder. Pinkalicious? She said. What are you doing? I gulped. I told Miss Penny everything about meeting the author, Sid Silver, and writing stories all day long. I'm sorry for not paying attention, I said. Well, said Miss Penny, paying attention is very important, but so is being creative. I think I have an idea. Listen, everybody, said Miss Penny. This week, you are all going to be authors. We will have special writing time so you can work on your stories. And on Friday, we'll have our own class of book festival. At recess, we talked about our ideas. I'm writing about a penguin named Percy, said Molly. I'm writing about a family of giants 
who live in the rainforest," said Rose. Allison's book was the biggest surprise. It didn't have any words. She was making a comic book story with only pictures. We worked hard all week. I finished the story about flying through the cotton candy clouds. I drew the cover, and added an about the author page. Pinkalicious is from Pinkville. I wrote. She loves writing, baking cupcakes, and anything pink. On Friday, we read our stories out loud. We signed our books. It was so much fun. Before I went home, I told Miss Penny I had one last thing to write. Dear Mister Silver, you may not be a princess who grants wishes. But your books are full of magic. Thank you for helping me see that I am a writer too. Pinkalicious.